and now we want to bold. So bold, italic, underline, strike through, those are all going to be found right here, right? Um, so you've got, got these menus that you're used to. Um, we can do that in VBA. So default for all of these is always going to be false. Cell.font.bold. To bold it, all we have to do is true. We run that. And now it's bolded. So these are all booleans. You can either put false or true. Um, now let's make it italic. And we'll just set that to false. So italic equals true. Run that. And we should see it's no longer bolded. And it's now italic. Awesome. That is great. Going to comment that out. We're going to set this back to false. And then now let's underline it. So again, font.underline equals true. And we're going to see it's no longer italic, and now it is underlined. And there we go, no longer italic, it is underlined. All right, we're going to do it again. We're going to flip that underline. And for this, cell.font.strikethrough, we're going to set it so that there is a strike through. And we run that. And again, no longer underlined, but strike through. And you can set all of these at the same time in any combination you want. Totally up to you. Those are all pretty easy. Mm -hmm.